Hi, welcome back. This is uh, one of the important session. So in SAP SD, this is one of the important area, SAP SD logistics and uh, transportation. Okay. So past few days, we had a discussion about various concepts, how we can able to utilize at the ECC level. Uh, let's try to concentrate. Uh, this is specifically, this uh, session is specifically for transportation. Okay, my name is Jagdish Kumar Raidu. So here, like, you know, you're going to learn basic transportation process and the transportation relevance and routes and route de determination and basic functions and in shipment process and shipment and the shipment cost and shipment cost settlement. Okay, here, here I would like to take an opportunity. I will try to cover an important scenario throughout this process and we will try to see how much it is possible to add in future <laughs> other scenarios okay so tm basically it is classified first we'll see the transportation management is broadly classified into two uh, sections one is a transportation planning and second one is transportation execution so planning also important and execution is also important so transportation planning function handled by tpvs okay uh, vehicle scheduling and uh, transportation planning okay either you can able to do in our easy sub module or else you can use separate uh, you know box altogether transportation execution function handled by sap ecc this is very very important for functional consultants that we are going to see in another few minutes okay so now you got it all these are the contents let's try to get into this one okay sales and purchase transportation planning and execution process basically what happens if you see that this is the simple if you see our sd side will create a sales order and we create outbound delivery and then we'll do the transportation planning and execution okay by using outbound delivery so generally what happens if you create a sales order with uh, VAG01 and outbound delivery VL01N and after that you will click on port squeeze issue button. So then what happens? So stock will be moved out from your inventory. This is what is happening general SD process. But in transportation one step before that at the time of creating outbound uh, Outbound delivery will be created and saved, but you don't click PZA. With the transportation process, what you are going to do? You'll uh, try to do like, you know, mode of transport, like either road or rail. We're going to discuss this one. And after that, you will try to, uh, with reference to the delivery or uh, multiple deliveries, you'll try to arrange the stock in the truck or else ship or rail you'll do all your transportation steps and activities with that when you save your uh, by using shipment type if you save the shipment document your post goods, post goods issue will be done so transportation what all the activities takes place so like you know you'll do planning you'll do loading picking and everything and you'll try to assign to one shipment with that shipment you'll send generally what happens uh, you either you can do with your company owned transportation or else external vendor you will give the work actually so with that goods issue and billing will be done if you see purchase side also suppose you, you are asking a vendor you wanted to buy raw material for your company plant manufacturing then he need to deliver to your plant so what you can do it you will give a purchase order what he will do he will do inbound delivery okay there also transportation activities takes place and goods received incoming invoice this is how it happens okay so this is also same slide you can see this so who is responsible transportation planning point okay if you see this one like you know sales organization at sales order level shipping point the place where you are leaving the goods actually we will discuss with some scenario this one goods issue and invoice with example okay so like uh, what exactly happens you will create a shipment document and uh, planning and completion you will do that and uh, you are going to monitor shipment list and shipment information after that you are going to process the shipment cost why we require shipment cost suppose one vehicle is arranged okay to deliver 
uh, from plan to certain customer. So certain cost should be involved from your vendor or fleet forwarding agent. So what he is going to do, he will deliver this one. Okay. So then you will do the shipment cost calculation to pay to your vendor and transfer the cost like, you know, with service agent and build the shipment cost to the customer. Sometimes company will bear. Okay. It depends on the scenarios. So if you look at this, this is the typical execution process that we are going to see in the next video. Thank you. We're getting to that everything in deeper on system level one by one.